Hey everybody, Pelican Tacos here, and we are doing a command block introduction. Have you ever wondered what a command block is? Now you might know a lot about Minecraft, but you might not know about command blocks. Well, here's the first introduction. Command blocks are these weird looking things. They can be orange, they can be purple, they can be blue, and they all do several different things for you. So for example, let's bring that cow over to me. I'm gonna put a command block down and I see that cow right over there. You see that cow? We are going to teleport that entity of a cow to me, Pelican Tacos. We're gonna activate it. Boom, look, we just brought all the cows, not just one, we brought the cows home. <laughs> What up, cows? So there's tons of different things you could do. You can teleport, that's probably what you're familiar with, but you can teleport items, you can teleport animals, whatever these things are. Yes, they're a cow. And you can teleport people, anything that you want to bring to yourself. All right, well, just follow along with what I'm doing. If I'm gonna type it something in here, I recommend that you get on your own Minecraft and you try and type it up yourself. So for example, that one was TP at E, Brackets type equals cow close brackets pelican tacos. Obviously your name is not pelican tacos You're gonna put your own name in there, but that's gonna teleport cows anywhere in the world to you Make sure you activate it. They're always active that will activate it That's like putting a redstone torch right next to it if you just do that now some of the things you might not know You can put commands in chat now. Do you know how to get the chat? That's by hitting T or by hitting the backslash by hitting the backslash it starts the command for you So for example, I want to teleport uh, let's do something else. Let's type in. Let's see if there's any pig nearby. We're gonna tip, teleport all the pigs to me. No pigs. No. No pigs. Sad. No pigs to me. <laughs> do that same sort of thing. So that's the easy one. Teleporting, moving things around. Another one that you can do is the difficulty. Difficulty. Zero is peaceful, or you could put a P. You could do a one for easy or you could put an E, you could put a two for normal or N, or you could put a three for hard and so forth. So we do that, boom, all right, set the game difficulty to H and is anything gonna show up? Probably not because we are in the middle of the day. But if I move along, there's a slime. Look, slime's coming. But if I come over here, I do slash difficulty and I do a P, it's gonna make the slimes go away. You're familiar with that. You've probably done that here in the options and then the difficulty easy does the same thing. But if you need to do it in a command block somewhere else, you could do that as well. So type these along with me, pause this video and see if you can get it. Do some of these same things yourself. Now you might have noticed that I was doing it pretty fast. Now if I type in DIF and then I hit the tab key on the left side of your keyboard there, boom, it automatically fills in. It will go through the different commands that start with that letter. So if I just do D and then do tab, it's gonna tab through all of the different commands that begin with D. So let's go to difficulty and hit P because I really hate the slimes. Get rid of those guys. But slash tab will tab through all the different commands for you. And if you know that your command starts with an S and you're really bad at spelling, you type in SU and you know you're gonna summon something, you just type in S, hit tab, scoreboard stats, no spread player seed, nope, spawn point set block, nope, nope, yep, summon. There it is. Now, if I don't know what I wanna summon, I can hit space and then I can hit tab and I can tab through everything that I wanna spell. If I have no clue how to spell slime, I'm the worst speller in the world and I do slim, well, there is no slim. <laughs> But if I hit tab, it's going to auto-fill for me, and I'm going to summon a slime that's going to disappear because I'm in peaceful. Now, the other thing you might not notice is if I hit the up arrow on the keyboard, I can cycle through all the different commands that I've typed in so far. Up, 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 down, 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 and so forth. So if I want to teleport all the cows to me again, let's do sheep to me. Boom, there's one sheep. There it is. He teleported to me. So that makes it super, super helpful if you want to keep on doing things. Boom, types it in really, really quick for you. All right, now let's go along and do a time. Sometimes the sun is not where you want it to be and you type in time, space, set, space, zero, or day for that matter, it'll make it daytime. There it is. Now if I do slash TI tab, tab again, space S tab, 
zero, boom, there it is. It's gonna set it to morning like that. Remember, use the tab key, okay? If I wanna do nighttime, I can just simply type in night. Ooh, scary. Oh, pretty sunset. Or I can do time set, oh, what is it, 14,000? Something like that. Yeah, 14,000, something like that. That's gonna be it. more night officially. So if I do difficulty with the tab, don't forget the tab, hit an E for easy. Look, you see those creepers instantly spawn? Now if I type in TP at E, type equals creeper, don't forget to do capital C, to Pelican Tacos, boom, there's all the creepers. They are to me. Now if you really like to get rid of creepers, you can maybe stand up a little bit like this, teleport them to you, and then they will all fall, and you can keep doing that if you're really good at destroying. Oh man, they are so strong. There they are. Oh, almost. One more time. No. One more. <laughs> they are so strong. Well, that brings me to a point where if you'd like to kill all of the creepers in a specific world, maybe you just want to work in with zombies. Maybe you just want to kill all the creepers. If you do kill at E, brackets, type equals creeper, boom, it's going to kill all the creepers in the world just like that. Maybe you wanna just keep skeletons or zombies, you can kill the spiders as well. Boom, it's gonna kill all the spiders. And let's just say, maybe you just wanna leave the skeletons. We can kill the zombie as well. Now there's not too many skeletons there, but they are. If you put all of those in a command block, you can kill zombies, you can kill creepers, you can kill spiders so that only skeletons are around. That might be handy for the map that you wanna make. What's up, dude? You learn about command blocks? I hope you are, because we're doing a lot here, man. All right, so we've done time set. We can do our game mode. You can do G-A-M and hit tab. Game mode, if you'd like it to be in survival, you can just hit tab, tab again, go to creative, tab again, go to adventure, spectator, and so forth. All right, if you are in creative, this is the creative fun way to go, you can hit F3 and N and go directly from spectator mode. F3 and N again, you go right back to creative. Spectator is that one where you can go in the world, under the world, all throughout the world. All right? F3 and N does that for you. Now, let's give ourselves something. Because command blocks don't just appear. They are not, you can't search for them here. They are not there. All right? You've got to give yourself a command block. Let's do that. Slash give at P. Now, we did at E earlier. At P means the nearest player, and if you're typing it in, it means you. So instead of typing your name, if you don't really know what your name is, or you're just bad at spelling, or you just want to do it in a much easier way, because mine's Pelican Tacos, it's much easier to hit at P. If I want to do at P, I want to give myself a command block. Now, the nice thing about this is the tab key. C-O-M-M, -M, tab. Boom, it auto spells it for you. I hit enter, and it automatically gives me one of these orange blocks. Now, I don't like the nighttime, so I'm going to go to the daytime, and I don't like that we are in easy, so I'm going to go to peaceful. Boom, and they're going to all be gone. All right, so we have got ourselves a command block. We're going to right-click, place it down. Now, notice there's a little arrow. This is kind of pointing direction. This is going to be going that way, and we'll do more with that later, maybe in another video. But if we right-click it, it gives you the command line right there. This is just like if you were to hit slash or T. Now, you can tab in here, too. So if I want to do give, I do give at P. And what do I want to give myself? Hmm, a diamond sword. That'd be sweet, right? D-I, hit tab. Tab again. Pickaxe, no. Tab again. Dispenser. Leggings, no. Boots. Shovel, no. Boom. Diamond block, no. Boom, 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 boom. Come on. Sword. There it is. And if I put a one at the end, I'll give myself one. If I put ten, I'm going to give myself ten. Now, if I hit needs redstone, it doesn't need redstone for this. I'm just going to activate it and give myself ten diamond swords. Look at that. Diamond swords, I got a diamond sword. Sweet, I got myself a diamond sword. All right, so we've done that. Put it in, if you wanna delete it, just hit Control A, hit the backspace, and it'll delete everything. All right, we don't want it always active now, we're gonna do done, and there it is. Something else we could do, so, hmm, what else could we do? We could give ourselves anything, really. You wanna give yourself, hmm, what should we give ourselves? A piece of cake. Boom. And I can give myself 64 pieces of cake. There it is. No. No. Where, where's my cake? You, you deny me cake. No, you don't, because I didn't activate it. There it is. There's my cake. 
<laughs> so remember to always activate it. We put a 64 at the end there. Boom. There it is. Redstone. 64 pieces of cake. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Awesome. All right. One of the other cool ones you could do a game rule. This does some pretty sweet things. We see all these commands. They do kind of get convoluted there in your chat box. But if you do tab, you can tab all the different kinds of things that you can do in the game. You can keep your inventory when you die. You know that? You can make plants grow faster. See if you can figure out which one that one is. You can make the daylight longer. You can reduce time. You can make it so that fire doesn't spread. You can make it that endermen don't steal your blocks from your house. And most importantly, you want to make it so that the command block does not show its output. So if you hit false, command block output false, that's going to be really, really handy. Rather than filling up your chat with a ton of different things, you can do it that way. So here it is. Command blocks. Command blocks. Do you like command blocks? I hope so, because command blocks are going to be very, very helpful for you. Get used to using them because they're going to make your games so much better, your maps and everything that you do with Minecraft. Well, thanks for joining me. This was Pelican Tacos, and uh, I'll bring more of these videos to you if you'd like as you're learning how to play along with the Minecraft and do some of the cool stuff that those guys that make awesome maps do. All right, that's it, guys. Pelican Tacos out.